everyone, today we're going to be talking about pre-calc, so let's get started. First up, let's talk about functions. A function is like a machine. You put in an input x and it gives you an output back, which is y or f of x. There are some different types of functions, for example, linear, which is a straight line, and the formula is f of x or y is equal to mx plus b. Then it's quadratic, which is a parabola, and the formula for that is f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And then for exponential, it grows fast, which means only after a little bit of change in the x-axis, a lot of change happens in the y. And the formula is f of x is equal to a to the power of x. Then there's logarithmic, which grows slow. And the formula is f of x is equal to log base b, of x. Some key terms is domain and range. Domain means all the x values that you can use. So for example, from 0 to 10. So that's what we're going to be looking at in the graph. Range, which means all possible f of x values or all possible y values. It's like the same thing as domain, but this time in the y axis. Now, let's move graphs around. These are called transformations. To shift up or down, the formula is f, x in brackets, plus c. And for moving it left and right, it's f of x plus c. To reflect over the x-axis, it's negative f of x. And to reflect over the y-axis, it's f of negative x. To stretch or compress it vertically, the formula is a times f of x, and for horizontal stretch and compress, it's f of b times x. Polynomials are big expressions, like for example, f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 6. The degree is the highest power, and it controls the shape. Zeros or roots are where the graph crosses the x-axis. Even degrees n, even degree ends go same direction. Odd, they go opposite. You factor polynomials to find those x-intercepts. A rational function is a function of polynomials. f of x is equal to p of x divided by q of x. Vertical asymptotes happen when q of x is equal to zero. Horizontal asymptotes depend on the degrees of numerator and denominator. Exponents and logs. Exponential, which is a to the power of x, they grow fast. Logarithm is its inverse. So log base b x is equal to y, and, and that basically means b to the power of y is equal to x. Now let's talk about log rules. Log of ab is equal to log a plus log b. Another rule is log a to the power of n is equal to n times log of a. Another rule is log of a to the power of n is equal to n times log a. These are everywhere in science, finance and compounding interest. So these are important to know. Now let's talk about trigonometry. In right angle triangles, you can choose any angle and you can apply these trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. For sine, it's opposite divided by hypotenuse. For cosine, it's adjacent divided by hypotenuse. For tangent, it's opposite divided by adjacent. On the unit circle, angles are in radians. Sine and cosine values loop between negative one and one. Graphs of sine and cosine are waves. A must know identity is sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to one. This is because the cosine is basically our bottom part, and then our sine is like the top part, and this is basically like the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is the same thing, and that's why it's equal to 1. I would highly recommend watching my video about these trigonometric ratios. Now, let's move on to sequences and series. Arithmetic sequence, which means to add the same number. Formula is a1 plus n minus 1 times d. And for the geometric sequence, which is where you multiply each term, like 
For example, for the arithmetic sequence, it was 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on. For this one, it's 1 times 2 times 3 and 4 and so on. And the formula is this. A1 times r to the power of n minus 1. To add them up, we, I suggest using sigma notation and formulas for fast sums. I, if you made it this far, hit that like button. If this helped, drop a comment on which topic you want me to dive deeper into. Anyway, that's it. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.